What we buy and where we buy it has changed dramatically in recent years. That's why Parliament's updating the rules on the sales of goods. La bonne nouvelle et l'élément clé de ce texte législatif, c'est qu'on a créé un cadre européen pour toute forme d'achat, pour tout produit existant, et que on a augmenté sensiblement les droits des consommateurs par rapport à leurs garanties. The same rules will now apply across Europe, whether a product was bought in a bricks and mortar shop or online. If a product's faulty, customers will be entitled to have it repaired or replaced, or they could ask for an immediate discount and, in certain cases, a full refund. And because more of the things we buy involve digital content like apps, music or films, similar rules will also apply to the digital elements of purchases. If you have a defect in your iPhone or digital camera, somebody has to define how to show why it is not really working well. It is a software or it is a good. And a normal consumer is not able to, uh, to show it. So from now on, customers won't have to prove that the software or the digital element of a product was deficient for up to one year after purchase, doubling the current six-month limit. And this also applies when customers provide data in exchange for a service like a social media account. The rules will make it easier to buy and sell goods and digital content across borders and ensure that shoppers are treated equally and fairly wherever they are.